We have an element of material which is subjected to the given state of stress. In part A, our goal is to find the principal normal stresses and the principal shear stresses. At first, to find the principal normal stresses, we will use the equation sigma cube minus I1 times sigma square plus I2 times sigma minus I3 and it will be equal to zero. We know that I1 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z. I2 is equal to sigma x times sigma y plus sigma y times sigma z plus sigma z times sigma x minus tau xy square minus tau yz square minus tau zx square. And finally, I3 will be equal to sigma x times sigma y times sigma z plus 2 times tau xy times tau yz times tau zx. And finally, sigma x minus tau yz square minus sigma y times tau zx square minus sigma z times tau yx square. When we substitute the stress values into these equations, we will obtain I1 is equal to 0, I2 is equal to minus 15,000, and finally I3 will be equal to 0. So that our equation will be sigma cube minus 15,000 sigma, which is equal to 0. We can write this equation also like sigma times sigma square minus 15,000 so that the roots will be sigma 1 which is 122.47 MPa, sigma 2 which will be 0 and sigma 3 which will be minus 122.47 MPa. Since we find the principal normal stresses, we can now calculate the principal shear stresses. Tau 1 will be sigma 2 minus sigma 3 over 2, which will be 61.23 MPa. Tau 2 will be equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 over 2, which will be 122.47 MPa. And finally, tau 3 will be equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 over 2, and it is equal to, again, 61.23 MPa. For part B, we can say that the maximum normal stress is equal to sigma 1 because it is the largest one between these normal stresses and it is equal to 122.47 MPa. And the maximum shear stress will be equal to tau 2 which is 122.47 MPa. Now we can determine the direction cosines for each principal normal stress axis. Let's start with sigma 1. We know that sigma 1 is equal to 122.47 MPa. And the matrix we will obtain will be 100 minus 122.47 0 50, 0, minus 100, minus 122.47, again 50, and finally 50, 50, 0, 122.47. 
and we will multiply this matrix with L1, M1 and N1 and it will be zero. So our equation will be And we also know that L square plus M square plus N square should be equal to 1. So for sigma 1, we will obtain L1 is equal to 0 0.9082. M1 will be equal to 0 0.0918. And N1 will be equal to 0 0.40. 82 and you will follow the same procedure for sigma 2 and sigma 3 for sigma 2 l2 will be equal to minus 0 0.4082 m2 will be equal to 0 0.4082 and finally n2 will be equal to minus 8165 and finally, for sigma 3, L3 will be equal to minus 0 0.0918. M3 will be equal to minus 0 0.9082. And N3 will be equal to 0 0.4082. And that is all.